Uh, this video demonstrates how to replicate Pergamino parchment craft by using a rubber stamp. This is really the easy way to do this lovely craft. Here I have stamped an image. Uh, my stamp is this one by Great Impressions. And to stamp on parchment paper you're going to need a ink that will not rub off. So anything by Brilliance, this one of Moonlight White is what I used. That will work. And I've also seen very lovely effects using Versa Magic chalk ink in white. Now I have stamped this the regular way. So now I'm going to use these two uh, Pergamino tools. This is the embosser and this is a perforating and stipling tool. I'm going to use these tools to get the pergamino effects. The only downside that I can see to using the stamped method is that you don't have the um, directions for stippling and embossing that you would have with a regular pergamino pattern. However, uh, you have to kind of wing it. So the next step with this will be to do some, some embossing. Now to do the embossing you work on the back side of the pattern. This is the front side but if I turn it over you won't be able to see the pattern. But you work on the back side of the pattern and I'm going to emboss the inside of these butterfly wings. You, you just kind of go over it like that with the tool. You can see what you're doing in real life. And I think I'm also going to emboss inside these flowers. And I will do that for all of the butterfly wings and all of the flower petals. There, I've now embossed the, um, the flowers and the butterfly wings. If you can see that they have turned white and they're sort of sticking up. I forgot to mention earlier when you do the embossing you'll get better results if you use a pad like this one. Uh, which is a pergamino craft pad, but I believe a, a mouse pad would also work well. Now the next thing is is uh, stippling. For this you use a sharp pointed little tool called a stippling tool and you what, what you do it's a short staccato movement like this but not very hard. You don't want to actually cut through the paper. You just want to make little marks. So you do this staccato but don't cut through the paper. And what I'm going to do on my pattern, I'm going to stipple along the inside of the squares here, along the inside to get a little uh, pattern there. Uh, there, I've now completed the stippling on this design. When you stipple, you work on the back of the paper, not the front. And for best results, I suggest working on cardboard rather than on the um, uh, pad that I showed you earlier. So I don't know if this shows up, but I have a fine line of stippling going along here at the bottom. And I also have a fine line of stippling around this square up here at the top. The next thing is to do the perforating and you use the same tool but and you also work on cardboard and it's the same movement as, as stippling except it's harder and you break through. You're actually going to break through the paper and cut it. So what I suggest doing now is going around with your perforating tool and perforating all around the outside of this design. When you have finished, you should be able to just rip your design out of the paper because you've made the holes close enough together that you can do that. So here are the two designs that I've been working with. Uh, this one I have perforated around the edges and then cut with scissors. And this one I've perforated and torn along the, um, the poked holes. Uh, whichever you wanted and you can now of course use these as embellishments for a scrapbook page or for a card or to make a gift tag or anything you wanted. You could also if you wish use, uh, this is a dorsal crayon, it's a pergamino product, you could also tint 
the back, if, if you wish, you could tint the back of your design using this crayon. I'll just show you here. It's a, a subtle effect, quite pleasant on, on the back, so I will do that now on one of them. So there, just to demonstrate, I have tinted the uh, this part of this um, design using the dorsal crayon. And I don't know if it's showing up well, but it is quite a pleasant pastel color. You can, of course, get the dorsal crayons in, um, in a wide variety of colors. And you can get many varieties of pergamino tools.